Welcome, welcome, and welcome to the greatest quiz show in the world, and we call the show What What What? What don't you know? <laughs> and of course, my name is Daniel Alfredi Abua. And like we always said, the show is the only show that brings you, tells you exactly what you don't know, but you think you know, and what you don't know, but you think you do not know, and what you know, but you think you don't know, and what you don't know, but you think you know. And that is the show. Complicatedly simple, simply complicated. Now, we have three contestants here, and they'll be competing for a chance to get into the grand finale to win for themselves a brand new, uh, that is a brand new Lamborghini Gelato. Yes, and a cash prize of $100,000, which is donated by Reverend Obafo and Angel Obening. So moving straight to the contestants. I have three contestants here, one of them who has been here before, and he's back. Right, he's saying he wants to win more points, amass more points, to get a chance of winning this cash prize and car. So, our first contestant is here. Good afternoon, and uh, what is your name and where are you coming from? My what name is, name? is Kofi Bagay. Kofi Boge. Yeah, I come from Western Region, Takrade. Western Region in Takrade. Yeah. So, Kofi Boge, why are you here again? Yeah, I'm here for the quiz. Mm. No. So, I, I want you to tell, do something, Kofi Boge. Um, look into the camera right now and tell the people of Takrade. Tell all your supporters, all your loved ones at Takrade. Let them know that you need your support and then what do you have to tell them? Yeah, I want to tell my support that you should the vim, uh, give him the vim so I'll, I'll win everything. Mm -hmm. Or you ask me. Yeah. Okay. And then what, uh, what will you do with the money when you get the $100,000? For uh, $100, that money, I'll use for buying more taxis for drivers to use it. And then my money will become big. So me, I'm a taxi driver. So that work, I'll do it. Yeah. All right. So you heard him. That is what he wants to do. So what about you? What are you sitting home for? Come and come and see. Stand a chance of winning a hundred thousand dollars. Now moving on to our next contestant. What is your name, sir? Yao Kwating. Yao Kwating. And where is Yao Kwating coming from? Uh, I'm coming from Kumasi, Santasi. Santasi in Kumasi. It looks like the show. We have a lot of people in Kumasi coming through the show. Now, Yao Kwating. What do you do? Uh, please, I'm a, I'm a drummer. A drummer means Yao Kwating is a musician. Hmm, lovely. So, um, what kind of drum do you drum? Do you drum the, what's it called, the percussions, that's the conka? Or is it, is it the, the one that we know which drums? A, a jazz. Jazz set? A jazz, yes. Ah, beautiful. So, give us a little demonstration of what the, the drum you do, okay? I mean, the drums you drum. What sound did it make? Because it's, it's an invisible drum, so you can hear. Let me hear. So the feather, the top one was tiny. Yes. I heard that one. Beautiful. Who have you, I mean, uh, where do you work at and who have you worked with? Oh, <laughs> I've worked with a lot of people and, um, in fact, a lot of artists, big artists and smaller ones. Like who? The big ones? Uh, Mark Abraham. Ah! Wow. And who else? Checheku. Checheku. And then? Um, Trigmatic. Trigmatic. And Flo Kingstone. <laughs> Flo Kingstone. But you want to show them a 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 show them uh, we are still talking about the money. You know, I love money, so... Of course. Yeah, we are, we are talking about the coin. And what about Shada Wale? Shada Wale. Shada Wale is owing me. Yeah. He used my name to make music. <laughs> yeah. Shada Wale. Yeah. Why? Why? Are you sure about this? <laughs> if I'm not sure, they will beat me, so... <laughs> In fact... Uh, SM for life. We have somebody. You can meet him outside, you know what to do to him. <laughs> you already know. Okay, so you're quoting, if you win the $100,000, what will you do with the money? Oh, if $100,000, I will buy drums and give you one. What am I using drums for? 
Maybe you become a pastor one day. So. And then I show you, what am I, what am I using drums for? You will start or you set up a church with it. And then I will play drums. You employ someone that you pay the person. I'll do that. Give me something else. Or you can set up a live band. Then you will sing like Amachi Didi. Okay. Out of the 100,000, that's what you give me. Okay, no problem. Let's move to the next contestant. Hi, what is your name and where are you coming from? Um, Kuju Abbas Mawili, you know, Brown. I'm from Pankrono. Kojo Abbas Mauli Nino Brown. And um, which part of Ghana do you come from? Is that your hometown? Yes, please. You hail from Pankrono? Yes, please. And your parents' name, you Kojo Abbas Mauli Nino Brown? Yes, please. Which one is your surname? Abbas. Kojo Abbas Mauli Nino Brown. And Abbas is your surname? Yes, please. Interesting. So what do you do for a living? I'm a photographer. A photographer? Beautiful. What kind of photographer do you do? Passport. You... You take passport pictures? Yes, please. Wow. So when you win the money, the $100,000, what will you do with the money? I'm going to build a warehouse. Use it for a photo studio. I also want to venture in instant. You want to venture into instant photography? Yes, please. Yes, So, as a stand, you don't do instant? No, I only do passport. Wow. That's the only thing you want to do with the 100,000? Well, you've heard the man. You cannot fault a man what he wants to do with his money. You can never, you know, advise a rich man. <laughs> but I wonder what will happen to this young man when he gets the money. So we'll be moving into the first round. And of course, we'll take a quick break. When we come back, we're moving into the first round. This is the show. What, what, what? What? What don't you know? <laughs> well, you're welcome back. And this is the show. What, what, what? What don't you know? My name is Daniel Alfredo. Of course, I told you we have three contestants here who will be competing today. And of course... We're starting off with the first round. And the first round will be general knowledge. General knowledge. So I'm starting off with contestant number one, who is Kofi Boge from Western Region, Takuradi. Now, Kofi Boge, when did Ghana become independent? No, 1958. Kofi Boge! Ghana became independent when? 1958. Well, that is rather unfortunate. It is wrong. And a bonus question to you. 1957. What date? Uh, uh, six March. Six March 1957. <laughs> Now, your major question, Yao Kwating. You know your song reminds me of a song by Shatawale? Yao Kwating, Yao Kwating, Yao Kwating. Everybody say Yao Kwating, Yao Kwating. When did the Portuguese, when did the Portuguese build Elmina Castle? When did the Portuguese build Elmina Castle? I, I wasn't there. Clearly. Thursday. Thursday? Yes, please. Which year? Um, I'm not a fancy, so that year, uh, but I remember it was Thursday. I heard it. You heard it was Thursday, but that is wrong. How can you build a whole castle on Thursday? Please, bonus question. 1432. 1432. That is close, but it's unfortunately wrong. Boge. 1968. 1968. Boge says it's 1968. 1968, Boge. That is unfortunately wrong. The answer is 1482. 1482. Now, your major question. What is the official language of the people of Brazil? 
Brazil. What is the official language? Brazil. That's what I said. Spanish. Wrong! Boros question to you, Boge. What is the official language of the people of Brazil? The Brazil people speak Greek. According to Boge, some Brazilians speak Greek. Well, it's very unfortunate. I don't know which Brazilians are talking about, but bonus question to you, Yao Kwating. Um, Brazilian. That Brazilians speak what? Brazil. Portug Portuguese. Portuguese is correct. And that is a bonus answer. So we're moving to your major question. Kofi Boge. Kofi Boge. You know I really like you, yeah? Yeah. Your hairline. Who was the Baba who did that? The Baba. Yeah, what's the name of your Baba? And what's the name of the haircut? It's Babaura. It's what? Babaura. Babaura. Yeah. That's the name of the Baba. Yeah. And what's the name of the haircut? Coronia Aboy. Coronia a boy. Yeah. Coronia, a boy. So talking about Coronia, let me take you back to the colonial days. What was Ghana formerly known? What is the name of Ghana before they became Ghana? Good Coast. Gold Coast! <laughs> now your major question. Your major question, Yao Kwating. Which country is to the east of Ghana? Which country is to the east of Ghana? Cote d'Ivoire. Cote d'Ivoire is wrong. Which country? Bonus point. Togo. Togo is correct. <laughs> now your major question. Your major question. Who was Ghana's first Prime Minister, Ghana's first Prime Minister. Buzia. That is wrong. Ghana's first Prime Minister. It's Nana Ado Danko Akufu Adult. Now, according to Kofi Boge, Ghana's first Prime Minister is Nana who? Abdul Danko Danko Akufu Adult. Akufu Adult. Yeah. Well, that's that's very unfortunate. It's, it's, it's now president's father. It's now the president's father? Yeah. Wow. That is rather unfortunate. Who was the first prime minister? A bonus question to you. Um, Dr. Kwame Nkrumah. Dr. Kwame Nkrumah. And that is correct. <laughs> now, Kofi Boge. Who was Ghana's first president? Dr. Kwame Nkrumah. Dr. Kwame Nkrumah. <laughs> Your major question, Yao Kwating. Who overthrew the government of Dr. Kofi Abrifa Buzia and established military rule in Ghana in 1972? Flight Lieutenant Jerry John Rawlings. Flight Lieutenant Jerry John Rong. Bonus question to you. Who overthrew the government of Dr. Kofi Buzia and established military rule in Ghana in 1972? Who? Kwame Nkrumah. Let's move on. Bonus question. It's Kotraka uh, Agri. Who is that? Kutrika Agri. Okay. So according to Kofi Boge, Kutrika Agri was once the head of state of Ghana. Well, that is right. Unfortunately, you all got it wrong. The answer is Ignatius Kutu Echampo. I.K.A. Echampo. A.K.A. Fawoto Beji Golf. Now, moving on. Whose major question? Kojo Abbas. Mauli Nino Brown. So, 
who became Ghana's first president, Ghana's president, sorry, Ghana's president on 7th January 2001. Who? J.A. Kufu is correct. <laughs> Your major question for everybody. Who became Ghana's president in 2008? 2008. Late President John Atta Mills. Late President John Evans Atta Mills. A round of applause, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> now, Yao Kwating, your major question. Yao Kwating, your major question. Who was the first Portuguese to step foot in the Gold Coast? What is his name? Sir, Sir, Gorgeous, Gorgeous, Gorgeous Big. Sir who? Gorgeous, Gorgeous, Gorgeous Big. Well, that is rather unfortunate, and I can't give it to you, that is wrong. A bonus question to you. Gordon, Gorgeous Big. That is wrong as well. Coffee Boge. It's Gordon, God is, God is Big. <laughs> According to Coffee Boge, he is correcting them. Well, the unfortunate, the, it's unfortunate the answer is Don Diego de Azambuja. Don Diego de Azambuja. Right. Now, your major question. Who? Mine. Kojo, your major question. What is Ghana's oldest landmark? What is Ghana's oldest landmark? Independence Square. Independence is wrong. Independence Square is wrong. Kofi Boge, Ghana's oldest landmark. What landmark has, 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 was the oldest in Ghana? It's oldest in Ghana. The map. The map! Well, it's rather on... Star Fright House. In fact, I'm going to give it to you. Because the map is older than the actual landmark, which is the Larabanga Mosque. And that is the oldest landmark. But this means a landmark and a land map could... Correct, please, 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 please. Now this brings us to the end of the first round. And we'll be taking a quick break. When we come back, we're moving into round two. This is the show. What, what, what? What? What don't you know? Well, you're welcome back to the show. This is What Don't You Know? Of course, brought to you by Laser Glacier British. My name is Daniel Alfred Yopa, your quiz master. We have a first contest. And of course, uh, the first round has been a very, very good round. We're moving on to the second round. Now, the second round will be a round of riddles. 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 So I give you a riddle, you give me an answer. Very simple. Starting off with you, Yao Kwating. Yao Kwating. This is your riddle. What has to be broken before it can be used? What has to be broken before it can be used? Then remember, you can give me a valid answer. If the answer is valid, I could give it to you. You would never know. Please, the question again. What has to be broken before it can be used? Um, sugar cane. Do you... Well, I'm going to give you two out of three. I'll give you two out of three. Give him a round of applause. <laughs> because when you buy a sugar cane, you have to break it. If you don't break it, if you like, you have... I break it before you use it. Very important. Good one. Now, no. Your major question. What begins with T, ends with T, and has T in it? Teta tet. Tet a tet, tet a tet. No, I can't give it to you. There's nothing tea in a tete a tete. 
But again, for a bonus point, what begins with T, ends with T, and has a T in it? It's teetst. It's what? Teetst. What is that? What is that? It's your, inside your room. Inside your room? Yeah. So, a T begins, but it has no T in it. Unfortunately, I can't give it to you. Go, yao kwati. Chocho. Two T. Hey. So you realize that, yeah. What didn't say mong? I'll add it to you for you. The answer is teapot. 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 It has T at the beginning, ends with T, and has T in it. Now, your major question. What tastes better than it smells? It tastes better than it smells. What? Better than it smells. Yes. Oh, Chance it, Nihum, Nihum, the Nihum, but at the pa. It's honey. Honey? You don't like the smell of honey? Yeah, you can't smell, but it's very tasty. It's very delicious. Yeah. Unfortunately, I can't give this to you, Yao Kwating. Bonus point. Abitye. I am sure with this, Anita Kuma would not like this. Bonus question. Tongue. A tongue is correct. Please, a tongue is correct. Because you're going to talk about it, will it? Will it taste better than the smells? Trust me, you don't want to smell the real smell of Willie, but you taste it lovely. But a tongue in Willie is correct. Bonus point to you. Now, your major question, Yao Kwating. Your major question, Yao Kwating. What building has the most stories? What building has the most stories? Story building. I knew it. Sorry, it's wrong. Yes, Kojo? Jubilee House. Hmm. Let me consider your answer very well. Please explain. Julie House, so far it's seen it has more stories to my observation. What stories? I'm talking about story building. Stories. And it has so many stories in there. Like what? Someone told stories. In fact, I'm going to give you the points. Give it up, ladies and gentlemen. Well, the answer here is the library. But of course, the Jubilee House also has a lot of stories because before uh, they came, they told us a lot of stories about the Jubilee House. And they gave us a lot of stories, a lot of promises, and the promises are stories. And all those stories have been put in the Jubilee House. So, of course, I'm going to give it to you. So, your major question. Your major question. Kojo Mauli Nino Brown Abbas. You throw away the outside, eat the inside, then throw away the inside. What is it? Orange. Orange? What do you throw away? You throw away the skin, the covering. Then you eat the roughages inside, and then it comes out again. Well, I could give you two out of three. That makes a lot of sense. Ladies and gentlemen, give a round of applause. <laughs> the answer is actually a con. Cop. You, you eat the corn, you take away, you eat the corn itself, and then you throw away the cup. But that also makes sense. So I'll give it to you. Now, coffee burger. Now, this is your question. What has an eye but cannot see? It has an eye but cannot see. It's the person gets eye but he cannot see. The what has an eye but cannot see? The person didn't go schooling. So when you see the writing, you can't see it. So we have eye, but you can't see it. You see, beware of dog, but you will pass there. The dog will chase him. So you have eye, but you can't see the writing. Like I said, validity is all, ladies and gentlemen. Three points.
Kofi Bogge has given us a brilliant explanation to the riddle. You have an eye, but you cannot see. You have eyes, but you can't see. Now, Yao Kwati. This is so fragile, even saying its name can break it. It is so fragile that when you say its name, you can break it. So fragile. So fragile. So fragile. So fragile. Breast. Now what? The moment you said breast, has it broken? You you can't you you are, you are, the, the girls see that girl. He, if you take the clothes off, you will see. It's so broken. It's not straight like this. It's broken. Unfortunately, this explanation, I'm not taking it. Bonus point. Virginity. Virginity. Why? Of late, anybody who tells you that she's a virgin or he's a virgin, it's already broken. I'm sorry, I'm not taking this one. Coffee bugger. Correct for one point! Well, the answer is silence. And he actually showed us very, very well. He implied the answer. So that is correct for one point. So, moving on. So we're taking the very last lap and then we end the round. Kojo. You can hold it without using your hands or arms. You can hold it without using your hands or arms. What is it? Dignity. 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 Can you hold dignity without your arms? Yes. The dogs say no. The dogs are saying no. Coffee bucket. It's believing. You can hold a belief without your hands. Well, Kofi Bogge, if you could explain it, I would have given it to you. But if you don't have any explanation, I will skip you. Yao Kwating. You can hold it without your hands. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> um, love. Hey, la love oh, FM. Wrong, wrong. Oh. The answer is breath, breath. You can hold your breath without actually using your hands. And that brings us to the end of the second round. Of course, we're taking a quick break. When we come back, we're moving into the third round and there will be spelling. This is the show, what, 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 what? What don't you know? <laughs> All right, so you're welcome back to the show. Of course, this is the What Don't You Know show. My name is Daniel Alfred, your boy, the quiz master. And the third round, we have three contestants and they will be spelling words. Words I will be giving at random. So, these words will be given to them and they will spell. So, starting off with Kojo. Kojo, this is your word. Spell the word circumference. 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 C I R C U M F E R E N C. Correct for three points. <laughs> Coffee bogge. Coffee bogge. This is your word. Spell the word lyric. Lyric. L I L I C K L I C L I C K That is a lick. Lyric. 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 You want to try again? Bonus point to you. L Y R I C. L Y R I C. Correct for one point. Now your major question, your major question. Spell the word, 
spell the word salmon salmon s e r m o n that is wrong a bonus point to you s a l s a l m o n e wrong bonus point to you simon s g m o n g simon s e m o n e simone that is the word unfortunately you couldn't get it wrong it's s a l m o n you were the closest to it why did you add an e kojo now your major question kojo your major question spell the word indictment 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 i n d i e t m e n t spell the word again i n d i e t m e n t that is wrong kofi boge indictment i n D I C T G M G N T indictment. Well, it's rather unfortunate. It was close, but you did not get it. Yang Guating indictment. I N D I E T. M E N T. Well, it's rather unfortunate. You all couldn't get it wrong. You couldn't get it correct. You got it wrong. That the spelling is I N D I C T M E N T. You almost got it correct, but you added an E. Okay, e, it will be mixing me. It will be mixing you, of course. It will be mixing you. Now, what is the meaning of this word? You tell me the meaning of this word. What is the meaning of the word? Google. What is Google? Google. Google. Google is you are searching something on the phone. So you Google, you will see that thing. Well, I'm going to give you two out of three. Correct. <laughs> Yang Kuating. What is the meaning of the word? Tutrobento. Abeng. What kind of abeng? Abeng. 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 Pa. Pa na pa. Well, I'm going to give you two out of three. The <laughs> event will be as an abeng. Your major question, Kojo. What is the meaning of the word shia? When someone says something and Nankaubina, you say chia me. Me, I will not win the thing. Chia me. I win the thing. I'm clever on all of them. Well, I'll give you all three points. <laughs> Now your major question. Kofi Boge. What is the meaning of the word? Ojame. Ojame. The meaning is the person is insulting somebody. You are ojame. Is insulting the person. The person looking like that animal. So, ladies and gentlemen, I'll give it to him. Yao Kuating, you will be ending this for us. Spell the word. Spell the word. Launch. Launch. L a u n c h. L a u n c h. L a u n c h. Correct for three points. So this brings us to the end of the contest, and of course we'll be collating the results. We'll be learning who has actually won 
this particular contest. This is the show. What, 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 what don't you know? <laughs> so thank you very much, of course. And if you want more of a what don't you know, just go down there and subscribe. Subscribe right now. I'm waiting. Subscribe. Brilliant! Plus three! <laughs> For subscribing, you get plus three. And of course, I would like to say a big thank you to all the people who have been supporting us. Without you, this show would never be possible. And if you also want to bring in your support, if you want to support us, give us something small to keep us afloat, of course. You can give us, uh, send it to 0552505073. That is 0552505073. It's mobile money. I will take it. Trust me. Mindy Woman Noom. And there's 020 129 2000. 020 129 2000. So any amount, we will accept it. And of course, we'll bring you more right here on What Don't You Know. This is the show that gives you so much more. My name is Daniel Lavrebo, and you are brilliant. This is the show. What's, what's, what? What's, what don't you know? <laughs> And now we have three contestants who have competed for this show and we have the results ready. Are you ready? So, in third place, with 15 points, ladies and gentlemen, give it up for the man, Kojo! <laughs> well, if you don't understand your point, you can come back later on the show and compete for more points. That is how it works on the show. Now, in second place, with 19 points, give it up for Yao Kwate! <laughs> and the winner of the competition, the man, Kofi Boge, coming all the way from Efiokuma in the Western region with 22 points, Kofi Boge! <laughs> so Kofi Boge has now qualified for the next stage of the competition, of course, Yao Kwate and um, Kojo can all come back and compete for another slot and they can get to uh, compete for the grand finale later on. But also you can also be a part of the show. This is how it is. It's called What Don't You Know? My name is Daniel Lafayette. Of course, we have three contestants. We have a crew at the back and they all help with the production. Of course, the production team is Lee's The Legacy Productions. And this has been the show. What, what, what? What don't you know? What don't you know?